So we have developed a variety of different boxes containing of over voltage protection devices which can easily be connected between the generator and the inverter. In addition to all the PV sets, we got the special hand tools and also the marking part. There are some new regulations when it comes to the connection of PV generators to inverters. Um, how do you deal with them? Yeah, that's right. There's a new standard in place which requires that insulators of PV systems have to connect the PV generator with the inverter and to secure over voltage uh, damages. So we have uh, developed a variety of uh, different boxes containing of over voltage protection devices which can easily be connected between the generator and the inverter. I think these are called PV sets. Um, and uh, what are the differences between these three PV sets? So depending on the number of strings and MPPTs, uh, which is relevant for the inverters itself, uh, the uh, user can select the right variant from our shop and he's then fine with the standard. And what components um, do I see here, I mean, especially in this big one? So in all variants, uh, common is the over voltage protection. So here we have uh, fuses. The um, boxes need to be equipped with fuses because we have six strings to uh, avoid reverse current of one defective string. So we have to secure them by using fuses. And we have also the firefighter disconnector, which is then placed in this uh, box. So you have a remote contact that you can switch off from the basis of the basement level of, of your house, can disconnect all the mo uh, modules on the roof so that there's no voltage coming in, in, into the house. Okay. And, and when it comes to connecting um, the devices to the generators and to the inverter, what possibilities do I have? So we have several possibilities. This one is with cable glands. So you pull in your cable here and connect directly to the terminals. Or the variant here is with the SunClix uh, plugs and sockets. So you use then pluggable systems. It is uh, wired, pre-wired, and the uh, installator just has to uh, install the, the plugs to the cable. And how this is done, my colleague will then show more. In addition to all the PV sets, uh, we got the special hand tools and also the marking part. Okay, and what do you do with this hand tool? Looks interesting. Um, we got the hand tools for stripping and crimping for the PV cables. And here we got the Wirefox 6SC for the cross section 1.5 up to 6 square millimeter. Mm. And um, the special thing is that we got four knives and um, the PV cable is wow. easy to strip because we strip from uh, all sides. Uh -huh. And now we got um, the finished cable for um, example, yeah, for example, our PT um, technology. Okay. And, and what do you do with the markings? What are they for? The cable tie and the marker have a high durability outside, as you can see here on the box. For more information about the tools and markings from Phoenix Contact, please visit the website, where you can also find a configurator to find the right PV sets for your PV installation.